Hey, all right, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen. My Jell Gervin will uh, check in today. We have a question sent in by Jonathan. Jonathan has some data that is trending. He wants to insert, using an if statement, a symbol, either an up arrow or a down arrow to indicate whether that day's trend is up or down. Hey, I'm going to do this using the brand new feature in Excel 2007, the icon sets in conditional formatting. I'm going to add a new little formula over here. I'm going to ask for the equal sign of today minus yesterday. Now, I could just do today minus yesterday and get positive and negative. Sign is really nice, though, because it's either going to give me one or negative one. If there was something, let's just do it here. Let's say that there was one day that did not change at all, then I'm going to get a zero in there. So. We have that series of ones and zeros. I'm going to go into conditional formatting, use icon sets, and choose. What do I want to do? I want to use the up, the up, the right, and down arrows. So choose that. All right, you say, all right, well, that's good. You get the arrows. But then, hey, look at this. We have those numbers over there. How can we get rid of those numbers? Well, one option, change the uh, font to white. But let's go into conditional formatting, manage rules, and say that we want to edit this rule, and there's a setting in edit rule that says show icon only. Don't bother to show me the numbers. Click OK, click OK. There you have it. Nice and simple here this one day. There was no change every other day. We can see whether we were up or down. Very simple. If you have Excel 2007, great way to go. Now, Mike is going to show you the way if you don't have Excel 2007, the way that will work in any method. So let's turn it over to Mike. Thanks, Mr. Excel. That is awesome. That's unbelievable. Hey, 2007 with these icons and this simple formula here, beautiful. Hey, uh, the method I'm going to show you will work in earlier versions, but basically you want to go get 2007 so you could do this method. Hey, let's come over here. Now we're going to build a formula. We want either an up arrow, a down arrow, or to the side. And we're going to compare the end value to the begin. So I'm going to start off with if. If the end minus the begin is greater than zero, then what do we want? Hey, guess what? We want an up arrow, an up arrow, which is character two three three. What is character two three three? Well, let's try our old trick. Highlight and hit F9 in the middle of the formula to see what uh oh. That doesn't look like an up arrow. I'm going to control Z. Ah, it's not formatted with wingdings. Let's go see what in the world this character function and what wingdings mean. I'm going to click at the beginning of the formula and type a space to keep our formula. I'm going to come over here. And we're going to do, there's 255 ASCII characters. And we'll do equals character. And since we're in uh, A1, I'm going to type row. That's a great way to get the number one, two, three as you copy it down without an argument. It'll just tell you what row you're in. One, that'll give us one. Now, I want to format this uh, with wingdings, the font. So I'm going to come over here and down to wingdings. And then I want to copy this control C, and I need to go down to A255. So I'm going to click on the name box, A255. I'm going to hold Shift and Enter. That highlights everything, and then control V to paste. Now I want to go down and look at A233, so I'm going to type A233, enter. Sure enough, that gives us the up arrow, 2 is to the side, uh, and 231, 332 is to the side, 3, 234 is down. Control home, click at the beginning of the formula, and backspace. Now here we are. I'm going to copy this because we can use this again. There's our first condition, that's for the up arrow, comma, and then control V. We need to change the difference between the two to less than zero. And then if it's less than zero, we want the 234, which is the down arrow. Otherwise, we want character and 232, which is to the side. Close parentheses, close parentheses, close parentheses until I see the black. Control Enter. Ah, we're going to add our um, font, wingdings. Zip. All the way down, there's our wingdings. Double click and send it down. Hey, uh, wait a second. We need to test it. I see a bunch of ups and downs, but I need uh, one that's the same to see if that works. I'm just going to say equals this one right here just for the moment. And sure enough, if we go from the day before to this day and there's no change, it'll give us to the side. Now we need to do some conditional formatting. I'm going to click on that cell and Alt-O-D new rule. 
That keyboard sh shortcut works in earlier versions too. Click there, uh, and we're going to build a formula. If you're in earlier versions, you got to go to the uh, first text box and point to formula is. Now our formula is going to be equals the end value, and I'm going to get rid of the dollar signs with the F4 key. So that minus end minus begin, and that's going to be well, greater than zero. That'll be our formatting for green. Font, bold, some green. Click OK, click OK. New rule. And same thing here. Minus the begin value. And we'll say this, we'll tell, ask, uh, is this less than zero? And that'll be our red. And we only have to do two here, because whatever, there's three possibilities, above zero, below zero, and zero. So we didn't add a formatting for the zero. So what will we do? We'll just format the cell. Right there, Control B for bold. And now we can double click and send it down. Double click and send down. We'll resend the formula and the conditional formatting. And there it looks like it works. There is that awesome array for that must be an array formula. Only Aladdin at the Mr. Excel message board can understand that. No, that's the wing dings. If you want to look at the form, you gotta come up here. All right, uh, we'll see you next trick. Mike, that was excellent. Now you know, as you're watching this, you thought that you were coming here to see a podcast about how to add up and down arrows, but it is so much more than that. Did you notice how when Mike was working? And the tooltip got in the way. How he just so casually and nonchalantly grabbed it and moved it to another location, as if it's something he does all the time. I hate that tooltip. It always gets in the way. But just watching Mike work, you see that, hey, well, obviously, you can move that to a new spot. And then when he realized that he needed to go check something else in the middle of working on his formula, presses F2, home, space. So that way the formula stays there. He doesn't get an error. And he can come out here on the left-hand side and use the CHAR function. So cool. All the great things you learn, whether you need to do up and down arrows or you just want to learn something cool about Excel, great way to spend your Friday. Uh, come out and check out these dueling Excel podcasts. I want to thank you for stopping by. On behalf of Excel is Fun and Mr. Excel, I'll see you next time for another dueling Excel podcast.